Did you go to the movie theaters all by yourself? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes, of course, why not? No, but seriously, this is a interestingly heated topic of debate. And I've been wanting to make a video about this for quite some time. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I think about going to the theaters all by myself. I just got back from seeing Cuckoo all alone. Of course, other people in the theater, but all alone in terms of I didn't go with anyone. I do this a lot and I've done it for years. I do it more now because I have a daughter and my wife is wonderful enough to stay home and watch her while I go watch a movie after work, late night, whenever I can, because something's out and I really want to see it or because I want to get a review out quickly. And so, you know, sometimes I go see it just so I can get a review out when I used to wait a long time. That requires going to the theater by myself. However, I've always actually really enjoyed going to the theater by myself, sometimes almost more than with other people. So some of the cons of going by yourself to the movie theater. Well, I think the biggest one is that people feel like a little bit weird. Maybe it's a little awkward trying to go see a movie by yourself. It's a communal type thing. It's a theater full of other people. If you want to watch a movie at home, or alone, you could do it at home, right? So why would you go to the theater, buy a ticket, and sit by yourself? And I can see uh, some people thinking that's weird. Some people I, I have heard genuinely just think it's an odd thing to do. It's weird. Some people I, I have heard to say like, hey, it's, it's awkward. It's embarrassing. I don't want to be in the audience all by myself. I don't want people to know. I didn't have anyone to go with. So I can understand that, you know, but that's the same way with, I feel like a lot of things, a lot of things that you do, sometimes you just have to do them. And then once you do them, you realize it's not as weird as maybe you think that it is, or you thought it was before you did it. And also, you know, I'm a big advocate of, well, you know, who cares what they think and what other people are going to think about you. So I, of course, would say that, but I understand the concept of you don't want to walk in with your popcorn all by yourself, look for your seat, go up, walk past all these people, sit down and everyone's kind of like watching you and you're like, nope, nobody's coming with me. I'm all by myself. It's potentially because I am a movie reviewer and a big movie goer and have been for years that it doesn't seem as weird to me to go by myself. So there's definitely a potential that I am looking through a, looking at it through a lens that I just can't see an outside perspective. So I'm interested to hear some arguments, but I've heard, as I said, from people that I know, friends that I know who are even big moviegoers and sometimes will be kind of held back from going by themselves if they really want to see a movie and they don't have someone to go with. There's also that guy who's in the back that everybody can probably relate to who is maybe just a little bit weird, a little bit awkward, kind of sits robotically still with his popcorn, sitting in the back on the corner, watching the movie in complete silence, and then just gets up and leaves as you, or gets up, goes to the bathroom halfway through the movie. Everyone's kind of like probably experienced that like one weird pe person in the theater. That's uh, just a little bit odd. And so you maybe don't want to be that person sometimes. I think that you might have like, a vision that you are that person to other people. Now listen, I am all for watching a movie with a room full of people you know at home, your friends, your significant other, totally, you know, showing them a film you love or experiencing a new one together, great experience. But there's just something special when you're a big movie goer and a big movie fan about sitting at home alone and experiencing experiencing a film that you really enjoy for the first time with no one else around. You're not sitting there thinking, hey, what is that person thinking of this movie? Are they enjoying it as much as I am? You're not as distracted by people. You know, you're not even thinking, hey, are they falling asleep? Are they staying awake? You're able to have the whole couch to yourself. You know, make as loud as you want, as quiet as you want, as dark as you want. Of course, in the theater, you don't have the freedom to 
control all those aspects and you have people around you more than likely, but you're still kind of by yourself. You're not really worried about what those people are thinking of this movie because you came there alone. And so you're able to sometimes, I feel like, just sit back and really relax and take in the film more. And on that note, if you are fortunate enough to get to the theater and you're all alone, and if it's a horror movie and it's late at night, that is some of the best viewing experience that you can possibly have, at least for me. Some of my favorite memories of being in a theater are premieres, midnight premieres with lots of people and my friends and being all alone when I showed up to a horror film at like 11, 10, 11 at night and there's nobody else. That is the best experience. I feel like there's also this element that I kind of touched on of this pressure being relieved. You know, sometimes when you go into a film, you have expectations. And with your, when you're with people, you may have dragged them to this movie or someone dragged you to this movie or you, didn't, you have this just expectation of, are we all going to like it? Are we all going to disagree? Are we all going to have a good time? When you're by yourself, there's just no pressure. And, you know, for so many movies, I went in... And I remember like Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, for example, one of my all time favorite films. I love that movie. I went to go see that all by myself. I had a free ticket to the theater. I had no expectations for it. I wasn't a huge Mission Impossible fan at that time. Went to go see it and dang, I loved that movie. One of the best viewing experiences of my life, all because I probably would have not even gone to see that with people. But I had a free movie ticket and I thought, hey, let me go check this out. What the heck do I have to lose? No expectations, no pressure, no anticipation from other people who are or are not Mission Impossible fans. Just blank slate going in, nobody around me, but I have this, still have this theater experience. Those are some of my thoughts on going to the theaters all by yourself. I just find this to be such an interesting topic. I remember when I first started doing it, it was a little uncomfortable. It was a little bit weird at first. And it's always still maybe like a little bit weird sometimes when there's big groups of people and you're all by yourself and you sit down and nobody sits next to you, but you get over that. And it's not a big deal, you know? I just think it's one of those things you kind of like, if you happen to be someone who may want to do that, but you're a little nervous about it, sometimes you just gotta do it. The movie starts and you get over it, you know? Kind of like being on camera. You, you do it and then you kind of just get used to it. And it's a little bit, it's always maybe a little nerve wracking, but it's less nerve wracking as you go on. Maybe you're thinking, hey, this is not a big deal at all. I don't know why you're even talking about this. Or maybe you're thinking, no way in heck will I ever go to the movies by myself. But let me know in the comments what you think about this topic. Do you go to the movies by yourself? Or what happens if you want to go see a movie and no one can go with you? Do you push back your time? Like if you want to go see the opening weekend and someone can't go with you, do you wait and not go see that movie that you really want to see? Or is like, I'm not talking about if there's someone who wants to go with you really badly and they just can't. I'm talking about the idea that you can't get someone to go with you. Does that affect the time? Do you wait for it to come to streaming? Or do you go by yourself? Let me know in the comments what you do and what you think about this topic. I suggest if you are on the fence, go to a movie by yourself. Horror movies, in my opinion, are the best, you know, especially late at night and you have that chance of being all by yourself. That's the best. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. Take care. Got a money scared on a big bad wolf. Oh, I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, so everything bold. And I put that on myself, cause it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through, you can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.